the judge for the Hound Group. Here she comes into the ring, Anne MacDonald. And uh, she first exhibited the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. That was her first. And her first Saluki of the great McGroup McBrooker Kennel. And she had a great success with that. She's owned and bred 13 champions. She first judged back in 1964. Has been awarding CC since 1981. She's our judge, Anne MacDonald. You can hear the ring announcer there. And here we go with the first of our hounds coming into the ring. The Afghan Hound. The petite Gliss of Griffin Grandine. The Basset Hound. The Beagle. The Bloodhound. The Borzoi. The Long Haired Dachshund. The Miniature Long Haired Dachshund. The Smooth Haired Dachshund. And the Miniature Smooth Haired Dachshund. Wire Haired Dachshund. Followed by the Miniature Wire Haired Dachshund. The Deer Hound. The Finny Spitz. The Fox Hound. The Grey Hound. The Hamilton Stavari. The Ibethan Hound. The Irish Wolf Hound. Norwegian Elk Hound. The Otter Hound. The Faro Hound. The Portuguese Pedengo. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Saluki. The Slugie. And bringing up the rear, the Whippet. Now I'd hand you back to Graham in the commentary box. Thank you, Bob. So there we are, ladies and well, gentlemen. We, we have all these wonderful dogs in the ring, all these fantastic hounds. I think the hound group is always spectacular. They're such wonderful movers, and Frank will fill us in on their, their configuration and confirmation as we carry on through the judging. But Anne McDonald taking a really good look at all these. Some of those will have caught her eye on the way in. There's no question about that. But these very beautiful dogs, look at them. This year at Krauts, we have one more breed represented here in the Hound Group ring. This is the Portuguese. She gets a nice opportunity to walk the on through them all. The Wirehead Dachshunds there, the standard and the mini. Six different Dachshunds, all with the same standard. And the Deerhound. Here in the ring. 30 different breeds she has, uh, she has to choose from, some that she has great experience in, in that she has owned them, some that she is uh, fully qualified to judge. Yes, a very experienced judge in, in many of the hound breeds on McDonald, a, a mother, a clever dog breeder before her in, in of uh, corgis, so Anne's been brought up with top quality dogs. A very elegant picture she makes there. I'm sure she'll enjoy this appointment. Well, the first one that she's going to look at is uh, one of those that is always hugely popular here at the show. Spectacular in the way that they're presented, fully presented dogs. The Afghan Hound. This one is Shadowfax Stepnoiveta. 
international and multi-champion he is. Uh, the pet name is Douchman. He's a seven-year-old dog. And believe it or not, with names like that comes from London. The owners, Maria Shanavaniva and Susan Rhodes and Vis Victor Dudko. And this has got its uh, third CC today. It is now a champion. Yes, yeah, so what a place to become a, to, to become a champion. The Afghan is one of the elegant sight hounds, which they means that they hunt by sight, not scent. So they're long-legged, far-seeing, very athletic. Don't be taken in by the glamour of the Afghan. Underneath there, there's a dog built to gallop and hunt. This long, clean head, powerful jaws, and they should have this light lift to their gait. Big feet and a ring tail. Are they are essentials. spectacular on the move, aren't they? With that lovely flowing coat. And here we've got the dog that people say, it doesn't make a sound. Yes, it does. It just doesn't bark. This is the Pesenji, champion of the American champion classic, million dollar baby at Hokkaido. Ah, this is Millie, which is a four-year-old bitch and uh, belongs to... There's a whole collection of owners who come from Grimsby. There's uh, Trich Hallam, Dee Hardy, Sue Kite and Jeff Gillespie. 35 cc's does this win a lot or what yes she is a group winner herself and bred in america and she's got a lot of the style which we associate with uh, american show dogs the basenji a native of the congo um so they're the barkless dog they yodel rather than bark and they should look like a gazelle in outline long-legged short-backed this high set tail with a, a twist on top. It's a really tight twist on the tail, yes. isn't it? And yeah. smooth, pliant coat. A very athletic, elegant breed. Next, uh, a, a less familiar breed, but there were 50 of them here. This is the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Champion bravely born to run. Pet name is Pepper. It's a four-year-old dog. And uh, Vivian Phillips was uh, judging today. <coughs> Excuse me. Mrs. Blowman, Gavin Robertson, late Mrs. Lynn Wadey own this dog that lives in Oxfordshire. Yes, this is one of the Bassett family. And it's, um, again, a fairly low to ground dog, which means Basset, the low to ground. It's moderate in its build, not as long as some of the Bassett breeds, moderate in its length of head, and coming only in this rich red wheat and colour, which is harsh and weatherproof. So this is a very smart, well-balanced example of the breed. And it's the first male champion in the breed, apparently. So a very good level top line. Very nice movement in front coming towards us. And good carriage. It's one of the smallest French hounds and is rarely seen outside France, and of course except here in Britain. That's the Basset Fauve de Bretagne, exhibit number 2780. Well, next, another of these uh, Basset breeds, the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéon, Ravens Beach Bayou. Pet, gnome is, pet name is Fred. He's eight and a half years old, this one, by the way. And the owner, Michael Lewis and Jan Payne, who also is the breeder, and they come from North Wales. Only two CCs. One, its first CC at the club show in 2008 at eight years old and uh, unshown for four years. Best dog craft seven years ago. Is that right? Yes, from so junior, yes, yeah, it would be. So it's now uh, come from the veteran class, so a marvellous example of the longevity and the soundness of the breed. This is the biggest of the Basset varieties, the Grand Basset. He's higher on the leg, longer in the back, longer in the head than the others. And again, that coat is weatherproof, weather resistant, striding out well. The ears fairly long to encase the scent. They're scent hounds. When they get their heads down, the ears fall down and encase the scent as they're working. You live and you learn. Thank you, Frank, for that. Next, we've got uh, the Petit version. That was the grand version. This is the small one. This is the uh, Basset Griffon Vendion Petit. Champion Soul Trader, my aphrodisiac. Great name. Busy is a five year old bitch owned by Sarah Robertson from Oxfordshire. Handled in the ring by Gavin Robertson. Nice to see Gavin there. Yes, this is a big winning bitch. She's won a lot of groups. Uh, great moving bitch. Now, again, the Petit Basset, more moderate. Uh, short, a little shorter on the leg. Moderate length of back, moderate length of head, but still the ears long enough to encase the scent when they're working. And that coat, again, a bit rugged and weatherproof. And they should look a natural breed. They should look untrimmed, workmanlike. 
Well, we're very pleased to have this dog uh, in the ring today. Gavin certainly will be, because this dog's retiring today. Finished. Breed record holder, but they retire today. Best of breed here at Crofts in two, 2007. Um, well, I think she's, she's, you know, she's had it, won everything a, a dog can win. And perhaps she's going to be a, a, a good matron now and go to, uh, to be a good mother. So Happy little soul. Look at that. Cheerful. Well, this is the Basset Hound. Champion Mayday, Dosset Moinos with Clavida. It's a hard lot to say, that. Molly is the pet name, four and a half years old. Uh, Dave and Claire Darley from Swindon. Uh, the breeder, Spanish breeder, uh, Jose Jumen de Mello. 20 cc's, top bitch 2006 and 2008, top bass at 2007, not Spanish, Portuguese. And a wonderful picture of the head there, the work in the head. Again, they have to have these wide open nostrils for scenting power. These lozenge shaped eyes showing only moderate flu, moderate haw in the eye. They don't want anything too loose. Again, coming from a famous kennel in Spain. The most popular and most famous um, of the Basset breeds. They should have a good length of back, strong bone, level top line, and the tail carried up. And she's exhibiting all of those qualities. That's the Basset Hound Best of Breed, exhibit number 2978. Third top winning, third top winning ever bitch in the UK, that one. Now the Beagle. Of course, uh, we had a Beagle in the uh, Best in Show uh, selection of seven, didn't we, last year? The Beagle won the group. This is champion Newlin Yuna of Lowick, almost three years old. Pet name is Daffy. Colin and Pat Lomax, who come from Blackburn in Lancashire, own the dog. And the handler in the ring, that's, uh, that is Colin Lomax there. Five cc's this dog, Scott. One breed club Best in Show. It's a very extrovert bitch and utterly daft, says Colin. And she's a lemon and white Peter. It's more. It is rare, isn't it? That we, yeah. mo we see yeah. more of the tricolours winning, but there's a, a lovely hound colour, the lemon and white here. And again, the beagle is a completely natural, balanced breed, workmanlike. There's nothing to hide on them. They have to be able to cover the ground well with minimum effort, so long strides, good drive from the rear, this level top line, and this soft head and expression. It makes them very popular as house pets. A bit independent in their spirits, but... Um, I was going to say, they're a bit lively for the <laughs> house, aren't they? But, uh, yeah. Well, here we've got a big fella. This is a four-year-old dog. 40 is his name. Champion Trailfinder Fortitude. Uh, David and Helen Powell own him. Of course, he's a bloodhound. And uh, they come from Exeter. Long trip up here to uh, the... Uh, Centre of uh, England to uh, take part in the show today. 17 cc's, and uh, his daughter actually got the reserve cc today. Very good. So again, a, a, a breed bred to work by scent, and then we see the long ears again, functional, encasing the scent. A slight inward twist to the ears, which is a breed specific. Lovely parallel head planes. Long muzzle for the olfactory sensors to give them good scenting power, and that strong elastic gait which the calls for. I've been found by one of these in the snow. You know, they, 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 I mean, obviously set up for a film, but uh, the dog did actually just That's come what find me. They, they are yep. very clever, very clever. That's the bloodhound. This is the borzoi. This is Dutch uh, Piatz at Menigma. I think that is the, the full name of it. Pet name is Jester, three and a half year old dog, owned by uh, Sue Pinnerton. Again from Exeter, another dog come up from Exeter here. And 18 years uh, Sue has been showing dogs. And uh, this dog has won several things, been used for coursing as well. Lovely looking animal. Yes, yeah, a very elegant third CC today, so another one to add its title today to get a... It could have had champion in front of its yes, name it there now, and yeah. it didn't put it on. There we see the long head, slightly Roman nose, and a long, powerful jaw. These were the wolfhounds of the Russian aristocracy going out to hunt the wolf. This slightly arched loin give it muscular, galloping power. Again a breed which has a lot of glamour in that coat. But so again, elegant on the move, aren't they? Elegant and light on the move, but they have to be able to gallop and hunt. They are functional. Yes, lovely to look at.
and it's produced Sophie Kirkwood's It's an Irish champion as well, this dog, by the way. That's our boys. All right, now we've got uh, the first of uh, six, which all have precisely the same uh, standard, except their size. This is the long-haired Dachshund champion and Irish champion Dashville Perfect Blend you can see that on the screen, I know I'm saying it four years old uh, bitch called Cher and owned by Jerry McFall comes from Northern Ireland, Londonderry County Londonderry, uh, both bred and handled in the ring by uh, Jerry, shown dogs for 25 years a very successful Irish kennel, here is the standard long the the general specifics of the breeds are long, low and level, but without exaggeration. So they're moderately long, moderately low. They have to have some ground clearance because in their native Germany, they had to track as well as go to ground. So they want some length of leg. Conical shaped head. Here's the, the long coat, which is a long, silky texture. This lovely, rich black and tan. A very famous bitch, this one. And on the table is the miniature version of that, because the miniature long-haired Dachshund is champion Tamera Taudri of elegance, touch of elegance. Uh, Cherry, I think, is the, the name. It might be Seri, it might be Eri. I can't, I can't actually read the, the writing that is on the sheet I've got in front of me. Janet Holmes is the owner from uh, Shropshire. And the handle is uh, Jan Janet Welton. She's in the ring there. And uh, this is a five-year-old bitch. And a very elegant bitch. With beautiful conical-shaped head, lovely chiseling under the eyes to give that expression. Almond-shaped eyes and a very clean outline. They're called the miniatures because they're a, a miniature version of the standard. Ideally, we want them around the um, 11 pounds mark. They've not, they're not weighed in the ring at Crufts. Um, that's an option at some shows, but they're round about the 11 pound mark. It's on the continent, uh, certainly in Germany, they, they measure them round the, the chest. R they? Round the girth and off. And, and, and the measurement and weighing is purely to determine whether it's a miniature and not a standard, is that right? In this country, yes. In yeah. America, they're all shown in the same size category, oh, yes. Are they? I see. But in Germany, they're often both weighed and measured round their girth. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's the miniature long hair. Now we come to the smooth hair. This is the standard smooth Dachshund. This is Rosenkett Captain Kirk. <laughs> Nearly two years old. Pet name JT. And uh, the owner is Mrs. Rosalind Rawson. Comes from East Yorkshire. And Ros is handling in the ring. Uh, they are accredited breeders. And... Uh, this is his third CC. He's a champion today as well. 40 years has uh, Ros been showing, and his little sis sister won her second CC today, so that's tremendous. They also did the double at Driffield. Yes, they've had a very good day, this kettle. Both do best dog and best bitch. I saw them competing for best of breed, and a very handsome pair they made. So, again, there's nothing to hide on the, on the smooth. They have to be hard, muscular, fit and balanced in their outline. Relatively low to ground, good depth of chest, strong and sturdy bone. There, there you are, obviously enjoying himself, still, still wagging his tail at the end of the day. And it's been a long day. It's a long day for all of these. I think uh, Daxons were judging quite early today, weren't they? So that's the smooth, and this is the mini smooth. Grand Cables, um, Ms. Supernatural, Natalie is the uh, pet name, three and a half year old bitch. And the name of the judge, strange fellow, Frank Kane, I think it was. The owner is uh, Jason and Susan Hunt. They come from Swindon. You must have liked this one, Frank, obviously. Yeah, she topped an entry of about 148. A beautiful picture on the table. Elegant and clean lined, wonderful balance. A uh, very elegant bitch there. And she went beautifully in the breed, so she's just, just made it because we were late finishing. So uh, here she comes. And apparently she's just come over from America, and she also won the breed at Westminster. So she's had a good, good show as well. So, and this, I believe, is an American handler with her. Uh, the handler is, uh, yes, Linda Torrance. Uh, this is the number one hound in Canada in 2008. Best in uh, uh, show uh, 2007. And number six all breed in Canada in 08. And uh, best of breed in Westminster as well. So doing nicely. She's Very had a good nicely. day. Yeah, you picked a good one there. 
This is the Wirehead Dance, and this is what I keep. I've got four of these. This is Champion Sylvain Mystique, and this is a very well-known kennel. Um, Holly is the dog's name. It's a three-year-old bitch. Uh, Kim and Duncan uh, McAlmont uh, own the dog in Gloucestershire. Kim's handling in the ring. You're right, Peter. She carries a very famous affix, the Silve affix, made famous by the Mrs. Grosvenor Workman and daughter Jill. So they they did a lot to put this variety on the map. They're great characters. You know, you own four of them, and I've seen them and met them, and you know what great characters they have. They're essentially the same as all the other Dachshunds, but with this harsh, weatherproof coat, the wire coat, and underneath a softer undercoat. But this is a picture of balance. I like this bitch. She's won well under me in the past. Yeah, she's lovely, isn't she? They're almost self-cleaning, these well, coats as well, which is also a very nice little bonus. I think you'll vouch that they've got great temperaments <laughs> for the house, Peter. Absolutely lovely. They're all, all minor house dogs. They're, they're absolutely fabulous. Four of them is a bit of a handful, but they are lovely. Characteristics. <laughs> And finally, the last of the six uh, different uh, breed of Dachshund. This is the Mini Wirehair. And this one is Star Champion Stargang Malachite, a two-year-old dog called Crinkles. Ellen Blackburn has brought him all the way from Blackpool in Lancashire, my hometown, where I started out. And the handler in the ring is Joanne Blackburn Bennett. This has won two groups and has had 11 cc's, so it's a good winning dog. Yes, this is another famous kennel. They have um, also the smooths, and um, they've made a name for themselves in the miniature wires as well. And uh, daughter Joanne here, hand handling Malachite. And again, striding out well. And holding a very good top line, full of running at the end of a long day. They were judged by Carla Molinari from Portugal. She had a very good entry of them and seemed to be enjoying them. And there, there's her best of breed winner. Absolutely lovely. I just love those whisker faces. Now we come to one of the big boys or girls this is a dog in fact so it's one of the big boys he's called peace he's two years old and he's a deer hound gentorn peacemaker that's his full name the owners mr and mrs rhodes and mr morton from stoke on trent and bred by mr morton and the, uh, no handled in the ring by mr morton and uh, the breeders, Mr. and Mrs. Rhodes and Mr. Morton. So there you are. So it's the whole, the whole pack, really. And a wonderful, <laughs> a w wonderful picture of that expression, this far away gaze. You know, they're sometimes called gaze hounds. Yes, because this far yeah. away look. Beautiful quality in this long head and the eyes. Beautifully expressive eyes. Again, a galloping sight hound. This is the reason for that arch over the loins and very free in his front action here coming towards us. Clean in outline, striding out well. A rugged coat. It's a mixture of harsh and soft coat, which gives a rugged feel to it. I'm told that this chap just sleeps, but I can't believe it. He looks a pretty, pretty lively fellow to me. He was the best of breed last year, so this is a, a wonderful one-up for them. A wonderful double for them, yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Now we come to the finished spits. Uh, not many of these would have been uh, shown here today. There were 42, so it's better than it might have been. Um, the Kilconnell Mika Tavola. Mika is an eight-year-old dog owned by Gerald Hickey. Uh, comes from County Galway in Ireland and handled by uh, Gerald. 27 years he's been showing. This is the first CC that it's won. Yes, the, the National Dog of Finland, one of the Spitz breed. So look at this sharp pointed ears, its wedge-shaped head. And above all, they have to be athletic. They are functional dogs. They should be hard, muscular, a good length of leg, not too heavy in the bone. The sharply pricked ears and this wonderful red coat, off-standing, and this high set tail. All essential features. This dog is going well. They're quite a vociferous breed because they're trained to bark at the birds. So they are a noisy breed to own. Now, there's a very nice picture of balance there. like the Kazon, isn't it? Noisy. And another Spitz, yes. <laughs> well, this very recognisable is the Foxhound. This is Harambi mascot at Kilcarran. There are only nine of them here today, judged by uh, Denise Cartney. And uh, Michelle Longman is the owner, comes from Cambridgeshire. And... Uh, 
There's one, if, quite a lot of events place at the Hound Club of East Anglia. They've had a, they've had a third in best in show, they've had reserve best in show, and they've had best in show in a row. So that's really, really good. And uh, apparently they still burps at the judges. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to win anything for them. Uh, Peter, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they don't have a lot of entries because it's only recently that they've been, they've come into the show ring in this country. Usually we, we saw them as, as working packs. So they're, they're, it's rare to see them in the, in the, in the show ring, but again, they have to be workmanlike, soundness, stride, and this scenting power, all important. This one's not carrying his tail, he should have a higher tail than that. Might be a little bit overawed by the proceedings, but I'd like to see his tail carried a little higher. Now, as a horse and hound man, that's what I'd be looking for. And what are we looking for with the greyhounds? Jets, it's been a hard day's night with Ransley. Who is Ransley, I wonder? Higgins is the pet name. He's a two-year-old dog. Paul and Rita Bartlett own him, and they come from Sevington in Kent. And handled in the ring by Arga Kritnes, or Kritnes, and uh, 30 years Paul and Rita have been showing uh, dogs, but they're not showing them in the ring. they get someone else to do that for them. Third CC today, so a champion now. Yes, again, absolutely nothing to hide. It has to be aesthetic lines. Look at that clean, long head, good, strong underjaw for dispatching its quarry. And this clean stride coming towards us. Muscular loin, slight rise over the loin, and using its hocks well. Now, Anne MacDonald, the judge, is a Saluki breeder, so she's into sight hounds where they have nothing to hide, where it's a matter of elegant lines and balance on the move. In beautiful muscular condition, you can see the condition shining in Absolutely. those Absolutely, tremendous elegance in the movement, isn't there? And here we come with, uh, well, it's similar to the Foxhound, isn't it? This is the Hamilton Stavari. This is Sue Fair Eternity. Her name is Lulu, two and a half years old. Uh, Diana Spavin was the, the judge of these today. A lot of owners, Mr. and Mrs. Priest uh, Bryant and Mr. Rutledge, who come from Maryport in Cambridgeshire. And uh, Susan Bryant's handling in the ring. And they... Uh, Actually, they bought the mother in from Sweden uh, for new bloodlines, and Lulu is from one is from their second litter. There won't have been many of these here today. The Hamilton Stavari, 19. Yes, they're a breed which doesn't have challenge certificate status yet in this country, which means they're a relatively uncommon breed. They're the Sweden's equivalent of the foxhound. Absolutely functional, only coming this rich tricolour, this black tan with white markings. A good length of leg and a nice free stride. Now here's a breed where many of the hounds have to carry their tail above the back level. The Hamilton Stavare doesn't. It shouldn't really get its tail above the level of the back. All these delightful fine points that you're offering us, Frank. Thank you for that. This is a dog I first saw on the Isle of Ibiza way back in the 60s, the uh, white ghost we used to call them then. The Ibizan hound, Finezza del Paran, Libby is the pet name, a 16-month-old bitch, so a nice young uh, animal here, owned by Mesdames Maguire uh, and Stoneham, and they come from the Isle of Wight. So that's quite a hike to get up here. Three cc's, so another champion today here with this top puppy in 2008. It was unbeaten. And as they say, made up to champion today. And this is a very interesting breed. It has these unique qualities. It's a, it's a very ancient breed. We can see similar things on the tombs of the pharaohs. But look at that muscular condition on it. But what I, is interesting about it, its movement should have a slight hover in the front leg before it puts its foot down. A slight lift and hover. And of course, the, the brisket is relatively shallow. It hasn't to come down as far as the elbow, which is a desired feature in many breeds, a deep chest. But here, it's slightly above the level of the elbow, as we see here. These are unique breed features. You're a clever chap, Frank. You really are. Well, this is the other really big boy, the biggest of all, isn't it? The Irish Wolfhound. This is Quillane Psyche Caledig. Psyche is the uh, pet name, this three-year-old bitch. Debbie Tebbett owns uh, this dog in Anglesey in North Wales. Handler in the ring is Roger Tebbett. And uh, no, only one CC before this. 
Uh, no groups, no best in shows. So this is a very young one. It's Yes, for a, for a giant breed, the Irish Wolfhound, it's only three years old, which means it's relatively young. It's winning its first CC in best of breed today. They take a while to mature. The longer limb breeds take longer to mature. And this is perhaps the reason. This Caradig Kennel uh, from North Wales, very successful. They breed beautiful hounds, always good length of limb, athletic, and again, you want a curvy outline, no straight lines. Now, there's a very nice picture of stride there. And again, this slight arch over the loin. They're a wonderful breed. They're supposedly the biggest breed of dog, but they're gentle giants. Yes, Beautiful. they are. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, this is uh, another of the spitz breeds. This is the elk hound. It's going to be another one from Wales, is it? I don't know. Where have we got here? Yggdrasil Rain Cloud is the name. Nelly is the pet name. She's a six year old bitch. Uh, Gary Winsar owns him in Abingdon. And uh, Gary Winsar is actually showing the dog here and has bronze good citizens. Uh, Scheme Award. Lots of these dogs, you know, going for their good citizens and do extremely well. That uh, shows how excellent they are and how trainable and straightforward they are to and look after. Sound in body and temperament, yes. And here is the Norwegian elk hounds. Again, a spitz type of breed with the wedge-shaped head, short, erect ears, and this wonderful weatherproof coat and high set tail, a really strong tail. Functional, it has to be equipped to work in the extremes of climate in Norway. Now... And we've seen good elk hounds here over the years, recently. The otter hound here, King's Tree Rascal, is a two-year-old dog. Two owners, Judith Ashworth and John uh, Atter. And they come from Warwick. John Atter's handling in the ring there. A couple of TCs only for this one. So, plenty of ways to go. But it's a young dog, two years old. Again, again, and there are not a lot of challenge certificates for this breed. There is a rare breed, so they don't often have challenge certificates. So this is, you're quite right, Peter, a young dog, um, perhaps not yet fully mature, and a great future ahead of him. It was a breed that almost became extinct when otter hunting was outlawed so but a few breeders got together got some blood from the packs which were going out of being and main, uh, preserved the breed I think they're immensely attractive and uh, there are some very good crosses of course from otter hounds and fox hounds producing some very good uh, very good dogs but they have to be weatherproof in the coat uh, strong in bone and feet with this high typical tail carriage so that was the otter hound. Now we come to, well, you can see the similarity to, to what we're looking at with the Ubethenken, with the Ubethen hound there. Uh, the pharaoh hound here, it's got a massive long name, as you can see. We'll take the short version, international champion, Northgates as you like it. Uh, King, he's a four-year-old dog, owned by Jenny Hall, comes from Sweden, Topsbruk in Sweden and uh, 40 cc's this dog has 40 that is just massive and has won 39 groups and 13 best in show it's a bit scary really top show dog of the year 2007 in sweden best in show second well group two um, westminster 08 is that ww no it can't be world winner yes world winner. Hey, this this dog peter very interestingly top dog from sweden at the World Show last year, where the Celium went best in show, this was runner-up. This was the reserve best in show at the World Show. A spectacular dog, and dare I say, he's had a best in show off me in Sweden. Really? Now, he's a wonder wonderful, clean-lined dog and a fantastic mover. Um, again, very elegant dog. Well, I'm glad it's Jenny Hall handling, because if that wins, and I've got to go into the ring and interview, you're going to be able to speak in, uh, in English, okay, that'll be all right. This is <laughs> Portuguese Podengo. Portuguese, French, Polish champion, Barcelos da Casa de Toro de Pluscourt. All right, I might be wrong, and I don't care. Barty, he's a dog, he's four and a half years old. Mrs. Betty Judge is the owner, but she comes from Oxfordshire, and Betty's handling there in the ring. No CCs at all, first time across, and this is the first one today. Uh, his children, though, winning top awards in the UK and Europe, world winner in 2006, so they know something about showing these things. Yes, Betty Judge is the person who's popularised the breed in this country. She's successful previously in border terriers, 
uh, uh, successful with show ponies with her, herself and her grandchildren but here dedicated now to the this dog the Warren Hound of Portugal which comes in three sizes the Portuguese Pedengo today they had a Portuguese judge they're workmanlike medium length of back and medium length of leg and this sharp expression very popular in, in their native Portugal and, and they're becoming, becoming popular here for absolute, 82 of them were here I think Mrs. I find that quite extraordinary I think really. Mrs. Judge had bred about 40 of them she's <laughs> prolific yes this is the Rhodesian Ridgeback Hassel six and a half year old uh, bitch owned by Linda Park from Norfolk handled by Linda in the ring bred by Mike Park and they are accredited breeders, of course. Again, massive winner here. 35 cc's this one's won, and a, gr and a group, and five best in shows. Breed record holder. Four times has been best of breed here at Grafton. Which, which is a remarkable record. Now, as the name suggests, it was developed in South Africa, and it was meant to hunt and track the lions and hold them at bay till the hunters came to dispatch them. So they have to be athletic, athletic and supple on the move and again they get their name because of a ridge of hair which one runs in the opposite direction Down along the back, the back which we can see there, there yes yeah. and this rich red color this bitch is very famous very clean line she's been out and had a litter and has come back to the show ring with great success today it's an international british and irish champion as well veltkama lady donna bunk is the full name i love that this is the saluki and this is a breed that which uh, Anne McDonald is seriously familiar. This is Gideon Jarl Lihal. Gideon is his name, 21 months old, he's a dog. Uh, the owner, Helsen van Tienen de Deca Anja, and they come from Belgium. And the handler in the ring is Linda Friesen. Now, Anne going over the dog, looking at its prominent pin bones, checking the length of the tail. A very elegant dog, good length of limb, his longer feet for athletic suppleness on the move, beautifully elegant in the expression. Again, a slight lift to the action, giving his elegance. And uh, Linda showing her is, is moving really well there with uh, herself because she's moving at the same, exactly the pace of her dog, and making the dog stride out and step out very beautifully. That was excellent. Next to breed, I really forget every year, I think, crikey, what is that? But of course it is the Slugi. <laughs> the dog's name is Eloisa Deshanabates de Merzuka, perhaps. It's a bitch, three years old. Francoise Heidman is the owner and uh, the handler in the ring is Blandine van der Plas. I've been showing dogs for 12 years, no CCs before today. And it's a breed which doesn't have CC status in this country. That's why it's not gotten any them, Frank. Now it shares a lot of similarities with the Saluki and its name is very similar, the Slugi, but there are differences. We can see difference in the proportions of the dog, the head of the dog and not so marked in its pin bones and croup. Again, something of a, an uncommon breed, but again, they should be functional and athletic. Well, it's ticking the boxes there. And finally, we come to the last of these 30 lovely hounds. This is the Whippet. Very popular breed, of course, the Whippet. Champion Court Hill cast a shadow as the best of 417 Whippets that were here today. Two judges again, of course. Esme is the uh, bitch's pet name, four years old, owned by Roger Stock and Patsy Gilmore. Again, this comes from a very famous kennel. Roger Stock, who's here handling, has had many good champions and has been associated with group winners at Crufts in the past. And Patsy Gilmore also, a, a big winner in the breed. You see, it didn't take long for Anne to look at this because there's very little to hide. Everything is to be with aesthetics and lines in the whippet. I suppose uh, if the breed's got a lot of fur, you've got to get your hands on them. If they have less, you can see more. See more at first yeah, exactly. glance. Well, now she's going to have a good look around at McDonald. And 
uh, I think she'll be impressed with what she's seen there, Frank. They, they look like a very nice group again. I think we've... Uh, some years, we've sat here and we've, we've commentated on, on the, the groups and we thought, hmm... They're not, it doesn't look a, a great group. This looks a rather good group. Well, I think there were some nice ones in it. I thought the Petit Bassett went particularly well. Um, there's a couple of nice Dachshunds out there. So I w thought the Deerhound went nicely. So we'll see. There and of course, the there's the spectacular Pharaoh Hound. So there's the finish, which put up a good performance. Elegant Greyhound, lovely muscle tone on it. And the Ibethan Hound. And you just get a, the size of that Irish Wolfhound there. He's a big boy. A very elegant picture and makes. You can see why she's attracted to elegant dogs, yes. So, <laughs> yes, and a very experienced, a good eye for dogs. Moment of truth for her now. She's going to have to pick her short list and let's see what she goes for. In comes the Basenji Wolf and the Petit Wolf. Basset Griffin Vaudienne. The standard long The standard long comes out and the miniature the smooth miniature comes one. out. I'm pleased about that one since I judged them. Down the line she goes. A long look, and it's the Irish Wolfhound comes out into the shortlist, uh, and the Pharaoh from Sweden yeah. comes out. And finally, the Whippet. And the Whippet. And there is the shortlist. Eight dogs of, in the shortlist. There. There we go. Now we'll, we'll go back and I think Anne will work the dogs again to check on the movement and see the carriage. At this point, it's performance so which can just make the difference. Will the handlers keep the nerves under control? No nerves travelling down the lead. So now, we'll out and back, this oh, very oh, elegant oh, leggy oh, Basenji oh, goes. She's a oh, big oh, winner, oh, wonderful oh, mover. Oh, Excellent carriage, that lovely tight oh, twist oh, to her oh, tail, a breed feature. Oh, Here's oh, the one that's put up a good oh, performance. Oh, the oh, Petit oh, Basset. Oh, Wonderful carriage, excellent free stride in front. She's a great favourite of mine, this bitch, and looks well tonight. And now the Borzoi. Is it number three, four, three, three? There's the Borzoi going. A nice win, making the shortlist, having won its third CC today. That's from Ireland, and so is the next one. The best of breed winner from oh, Ireland, the standard long-haired long Dachshund. Jerry McFall handling this Daxville perfect blend, a big winner on both sides of the sea. And here comes the Miniature Smooth, which is a champion both here, America and Canada. The Miniature Smooth Jackson. Which you'll be very pleased about there. because you put it up. There. Always glad when you choose yeah. the right ones. And here is the wonderfully curvy, long-legged Irish Wolfhound from that famous kennel, the Caradig Kennel in North Wales. Again, at three, it's, a, it's young for an Irish Wolfhound. And here's this spectacular clean outline and beautiful head of the Pharaoh Hound. And you can hear the crowd's favourite, I think, in that one. There's a lot of Swedes in the audience supporting that. Sweden's Dog of the Year for last year. Runner up to the Celium at the World Show. Can it pull off a big win here? Now, the, the Whippet. 
And again, top of 417 whippets today. This Court Hill Caster Shadow, famous bitch here. Now, there are the last eight in this lineup. And where do you think she's going to go, Frank? Well, you like that fairer hand, huh? don't you? Yes, I do, and I also like the Petit Bassett that put up a very good performance, obviously. I'm, the miniature smooth has taken my eye, but uh, it's tough competition now. Well, she's got the boards out already because uh, she's going to make a decision very full of concentration. Quickly. Back down the line, just the last check. So we'll click off, look, look along the line. Long look at the Petit Bassett now. She's coming back to the right. Oh, she's just coming back to the centre. Well, I think she's going to go for that fair hand. That's my feeling. But decision made. It's going to be. It is the fair hand. The fair hand from Sweden hand. has topped the lot. A wonderful, there, Sweden's dog of the year. Another foreign contender for best in show on Sunday. In second place. The Petit Bassett wins take second place. Again, her last show, so a wonderful retirement for her. And next, where we're going. The Whippet takes third place. And for reserve. And MacDonald is going to. The miniature smooth, so that's uh, pleasing for me. I judge the breed today. So there's the miniature smooth, a miniature smooth champion in three countries. So a very nice win for her. So a wonderful job done by Anne MacDonald there. So, but it's the Pharaoh Hound from Sweden who will come back on Sunday for best in show judging. Now that joins the Celium. Now I think. Uh, as Anne strolls back at that wonderful head of the pharaoh, Peter Purvis, my colleague, is going to do the interviews after the trophy presentation. Escorted into the ring by Mr. Bill Hardaway, the vice chairman of the Kennel Club. So again, to recap, the winner of the hand group, perhaps 2009, is the pharaoh hand, exhibit number... What a picture of elegance that makes for us. A spectacular movement. The handler absolutely over, overcome with enjoyment there. Wagging its tail happily. Who said show dogs don't enjoy it? The elegant Whippet in third place with Roger Stock handling there. And again, as before, Mr. Peter Turner's goal. The miniature smooth, happy, jumping up at the handler there. There's a picture of enjoyment. She knows she's done well. She's done nothing but win for the past two years. No, he has gone really good in the show rings. And uh, world winner? Yeah. Second? Yeah. Fantastic to come over here from Sweden and to take this. We've had two import, well, foreign dogs coming in and winning today. You must feel very proud. Yeah, I am very, very proud. <laughs> you look as though you're enjoying it in the ring. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. There's our winner for the Hound Group. Absolutely magnificent. Can I ask you to do your of order, please? Now there's the Pharaoh Hound going on a lap of honour. We'll see so back on Sunday, so do join us on Sunday. That joins the Celium in the final competition. What a spectacular move. We've had two wonderful group winners tonight. You can hear the... Look at that wonderful stride. There's the trophy, the Hound Group trophy. But look at that, a picture of elegance. Beautiful, beautiful winner. So, the Pharaoh Hound, the crowd standing in appreciation of that. Trust 2009.